Hey guys, welcome to your first day of our second unit. So we are moving on from the decimal unit and now we're moving into the greatest common factor, least common multiple unit. So um, factors and multiples are something that you have learned in the past. So we're going to review that today and then we're going to take your knowledge of that and kind of extend on it a little bit. So um, one piece of information, since we are moving on from decimals and you are not being tested on like the actual like operations right now, you can use your calculator for the rest of the year. So the decimal unit is the only unit I do not let you use a calculator for. So you can have it out every single day for the rest of the year now. So you don't need to ask me if you can use a calculator. You can just assume that you can use a calculator. Um, so just a little review of what factors and multiples are. So a factor, a factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to get a product. Um, and a product is just an answer to a multiplication problem. So I learned factors as kind of like a factor rainbow. So if I was looking for the factors of 24, um, uh, 1 times 24 would get me 24. So 1 and 24 are factors of 24 because they multiply to get 24. Um, then 2... And 12 are factors of 24 because 2 and 12 multiply together to get 24. 3 and 8 are factors. And notice like that's what the rainbow is connecting them. 3 times 8 is 24. And then 4 times 6 is also 24. So all of the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So I always kind of like do pairs, like factor pairs, to help me try to get all the factors when I'm listing them. So you don't actually have to draw the rainbow, but that's just how I learned them, so I wanted to show you. So you're just thinking of all the numbers that multiply to get the number that I'm asking about. I will tell you that 1 is a factor of every single number. So one in itself is gonna be a factor of every single number. So I'm gonna do two with you and then you're gonna practice a little bit on a worksheet and then you'll practice a little bit more on your homework. So we'll start by doing factors of 12. So like I said, one in 12 or one in itself are always gonna be the factors. So one and 12 are both factors. From that, I like to start at 1 and then just increasingly go up by 1 and try to figure out if that is a factor of it. So I would go from 1 to 2. Well, 2 is a factor of 12 because 2 times 6 gets me 12. So then move on to 3. So, oh, look, so 3 actually can be multiplied by 4 to get me 12. And there's nothing between 3 and 4, so then I'm good. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So then factors of 40. Always start with 1 and itself, so 1 and 40. And notice I'm starting on the outside, kind of then going in. So I'm kind of building a rainbow without the little colors. So then from one, I'm going to go to two, which perfect. Two times 20 gets me 40. So then you would do three. Three actually is not a factor of 40. So you skip it and then go on to four. And if you don't know if three is a factor of 40, divide 40 by three. If you don't get a whole number, it's not a factor. So then you skip to 4. Ooh, 4 times 10 gets me 40. So 4 and 10 are factors. Go on to 5. 5 is a factor. And 5 times 8 gets me 40. And 6 is not a factor. And then 7 is not a factor. And then I'm at 8, which I already have listed. So once I get to the middle, I am good. So all of the factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Okay. 
Um, one tip um, that you should remember is that factors are always smaller or equal to the given number. So notice all of the factors are of 40 are 40 or smaller. So factors are always going to be smaller. Okay. So if you did not take notes while you were watching the video, that's fine. I wouldn't either. But at this point, I would stop the video. I would write down the definition of factors. And then I would also copy down how we got the factors and what the factors of each number it are. So pause the video and take down notes. If you already took down notes, great. And we're going to keep going. So the next definition or the next thing you need to know in this unit um, are called multiples. So multiples are kind of like skip counting. Um, so if you are one of the lucky ones in my homeroom, I actually have all of these numbers on my wall. So you have them like nice and neat on my wall. I wish all of you would be in school and actually could learn math in my room because they're a nice tool to use. But um, so multiples are just kind of skip counting. Um, the true definition is the product of a number and any non-zero whole number. You don't ever need to remember that. I would just remember that multiples get larger. So write yourself a little note. Multiples keep getting larger. Okay, so they're going to keep getting larger. So when, if we're talking about the multiples of 21, what I mean by a product of any number and the non-zero whole number is that you want to take the number that you have, so 21, and you want to just multiply it by numbers. So if I did times 1, the first multiple of 21 is 21 because I'm going to multiply it by 1. The second multiple of 21, I'd multiply it by 2. 21 times 2 is 42. The next multiple, I would multiply by 3. And that would be 63. And like I said, you can use a calculator for this. No shame in using a calculator. The next multiple, it would be 21 times 4. So it would be 84. And then the next multiple is going to be 21 times 5, which is 105. Okay, so the first five multiples of 21 are 21, 42, 63, 84, and 105. So notice you're just skip counting. Okay, always start with the given number. That's going to be your first multiple. Always start with the given number. Okay, so then multiples of 32, same kind of thought process, multiply it by 1, 32, multiply it by 2, 64, times 3, 96, times 4, 128, times 5, 160. And those are the first multiples of 32. Okay. So make sure you have all those notes written down and nice, the nice little tips that I gave you. Those will help you in this unit. So like I said, I hope this is a review. Um, getting rid of those cobwebs in your brain because I know it's been a while. But so... If you are a hybrid student, I gave you this packet in class. 
If you are an online student, I you should have picked up a packet from the office. Those That packet is every single worksheet we're going to use this unit. So if you did not have an adult pick up the packet for you yet, please do because that will help you. So if you did not pick up the packet yet, I will attach the worksheet to the assignment, but you can't type on it. You have to do all of the work in your notebook, where if you pick up the packet, this worksheet is in there and you can just write right on it, okay? So you should see this worksheet right on the front of the packet you picked up from the office or the one I gave you in class if you're hybrid, okay? So I just want you to look over the examples of factors and multiples like we just talked about, and then the first part is you're going to list all the factors, so remember that factors are going to be smaller. And then on the back, you're going to list the first 10 multiples. So those are going to be the numbers that get larger. Okay, you're going to skip count for multiples. Once you're done this worksheet, you will then check with the answer key that is attached to the assignment. And then you have your formative for homework. And that is it for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk about prime and composite numbers, which hopefully is another review. And then from there, we're going to move on and talk about cake, my favorite thing in the world. Okay? So if you have questions, please email me. Other than that, I will talk to you tomorrow.